The Uganda Human Rights Commission recently wrote to National Unity Platform requesting for information of persons alleged to be missing. This followed persistent claims by National Unity Platform that its party supporters had been kidnapped in Comunicado. The chairperson, Uganda Human Rights Commission, Maria Mwangadia, says out of the 25 persons presented to be missing by National Unity Platform, seven were released in December 2022 and have since reunited with their families. We have established that out of the 25 persons provided, seven were arrested but released in December last year and have since reunited with their families. The seven people I'm talking about include Kavuma, Jamashid, Sonko Haruna, Badru, Mutale Charles, Abdu Bayani, Babu, Godfrey Chirumira Mavi, Ahumza Patrick, and Moleme Stephen. Out of the seven people, three were charged with murder and are still honoring their police bond requirements by reporting to Special Investigations Division at Chileka. Of these, three were charged with murder and are still honoring the police bond requirement, while four others were arraigned in court and charged with malicious damage of property. They were granted bail and currently live with their families. They were scheduled to report back to court on 17th of January this year. So these seven people cannot be said to be missing. And we are in touch with them. The commission is ready to investigate the whereabouts of alleged missing persons and has asked for cooperation from the public so that Kaye, UBC News.